Welcome to Lord JS. I'm Lord JS. Yeah, the samurai of the music. Yeah, and this is obviously quite different from videos you are accustomed to see here on this channel. Because <laughs> I'm starting off a new mini series here on the channel, which I called, which I call VS. With Lord JS, <laughs> and it, it's a comparison series, but it's not comparing guitars or swords or anything else. It's it, it is not actually physical items that I have in my possession, but it's more, you know, something else. And today we are gonna compare and talk about the differences between the two different actors who portrayed. Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts movies, Mr. Johnny Depp, I'm <coughs> sorry, Mr. Johnny Depp, and Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah. By the way, I don't smoke anything, this is just a prop. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you could actually use this pipe if you wanted to, but I don't. I'm on, I'm perfectly honest. Uh, this is I, mean, I am just using this as a prop to get a different style in this video. Yeah. So anyway, let's start out by saying and clarify that I don't think either actor did a crappy job portraying the infamous dark wizard that is Gellert Grindelwald. I think both of them did a pretty good job actually. Yeah. But did I think one was actually better than the other? The short answer is no, I didn't. I think both of them, both Johnny Depp and Mads Mikkelsen, did a really good job. Let's start out with uh, Johnny. I know that a lot of people actually, at least a few people, actually criticize Johnny's portrayal of the character, specifically. The, the, the physical appearance of Yannis' portrayal of the character with the different colored hydrochromia, I think it is called it, with the different colored eyes and the way his hair is colored and spiky like upwards like that. And I, I, and I've heard some people say that, that doesn't really uh, seem like very possible for the character because it's the nine, 1920s and 30s and at the time, of course, uh, this kind of hairstyle wasn't uh, actually very common at all. Just the opposite. So, but uh, I, I don't mind that. It means I mean I, he, he's a wizard. He's not just a regular muggle. So, or a nomad if you're hanging out stateside. <laughs> so I, I don't actually have any problem at all with uh, the appearance of like, the character as portrayed by Johnny Depp. So. And some some have also said that uh, Depp's portrayal of the character is kind of over -drama dramatic in, in certain ways. And once again, I disagree. I don't think it is over dramatic at all. No, I think Grindelwald as a person is somebody who would actually be a sort of a little bit exaggerated and dramatic at times. Not all the time, but so in certain situations. Yes, definitely. So, I, I have no problem with uh, Johnny's portrayal of the character at all, no. Uh, no, that's a little bit about Johnny, let's, let's talk about Mads there. Mads Mikkelsen is of course a brilliant actor, and so is Johnny by the way, of course. But, but Mads is a definitely brilliant actor. Very talented, of course, as we've seen in other projects he's been in, such as whatever I can't remember what any, any specific thing he's been in right now, but whatever. Anyway, he is definitely very talented and did also a good job portraying Grindelwald, and his portrayal of, of Grindelwald is definitely more realistic in some ways, and in some ways not, so yeah. He at least as far as I'm concerned, he 
he doesn't really fit one cr specific criteria as far as being Grindelwald, and that is that Grindelwald is known for being charming and attractive to a lot of people, which is one of the things that made Dumbledore being attracted to him. But I don't really see that with uh, a man's portrayal of Grindelwald, but uh, as far as physical appearance goes, many of course and rightfully so has pointed out that um, that Matt's portrayal is physically more in line with uh, the time period the 1920s and 30s so and also having a hairstyle that is since, since Grindelwald pretty much basically pretty much more or less was the magical uh, the wizarding equivalent of Hitler uh, uh, Mad's portrayal of Grindelwald actually has a hairstyle that is sort of uh, similar to Hitler's. So, uh, in that sense, uh, uh, Mad's uh, physical appearance as Grindelwald is uh, very much fitting, but I also personally liked uh, Yannis' portrayal as far as, the as far as the physical appearance goes as well. And, yeah, so, but. Mads Mikkelsen's portrayal of the character definitely very good as well. Uh, no, no less than uh, magnificent. <laughs> yeah. So, at least that's the way I see it. Yeah. So yeah. Both men, both gentlemen. I'm sorry. Both gentlemen did a brilliant job portraying the famous or infamous rather dark wizard Grindelwald yeah and and as far as believability when it comes to dialogue and the way they talk for both actors first Mickelson did a great job he has like that serious very mature, serious, you know, it's like very, very serious, uh, dangerous individual who's on top of stuff and like that, in, in, in the way he speaks and uh, he, the way he, he, his eyes, the, his, his facial expressions are very good, yeah, he, he, he could definitely, he definitely gives out that like aura of being actually a very dangerous man so and that's of course a good thing in this case because Grindelwald is this powerful dark wizard so a dark powerful dark wizard yeah so. but also Yoni did a great job also and uh, Yoni def definitely has the physicality if you will uh, as, as far as, as as his movement when with the way he walks and moves his body and and moves his hand with the wand and stuff like that he, he, uh, in that category Johnny is definitely the a superior actor here but but uh, as far as, as as far as the entire whole it is basically in my opinion, uh, pretty much equal. Yeah, I I can't really pick one or, or the other as being better here. It, 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 both of them uh, did an amazing job, but in different ways. Yeah. So I I have to give both of them. Uh, the same score, so to speak, yeah. I can't really pick one or the other as being the perfect best actor to portray Grindelwald. So, yeah, it's a tie between uh, Johnny and Mads, yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you, have a very nice day, and I'll see you all in the next video, whatever it might be. Viva la Revolución!